Installing macOS on a PC or building a Hackintosh is something that's been discussed in modern forums for years, even though it's officially unsupported and has made the powers that be at Apple very upset. I'm very happy about that. But what if you're facing the opposite situation, where you own a totally legit Mac and you just want to install Windows on it? This is actually quite a bit more straightforward and we're going to tell you how to do it, but first, why would you bother with this in the first place? I mean, you bought a Mac, right? Well, you might want to run a Windows program that has no Mac equivalent. You could be sharing your computer with a user that much prefers Windows, or you may just want a game, which can be notoriously tricky to do on a Mac. And while it's true that you can run Windows inside of a virtual machine in macOS itself, doing it that way often leads to degraded performance. If you have a slightly older Intel-based Mac, then you can save yourself the hassle and just install a clean version of Windows that'll run natively on your Mac's hardware, similar to installing Windows on a new PC that you've just built. And if you have a newer Apple Silicon Mac, well, we'll tell you how to install Windows a bit later in this video. Do note that on an Intel Mac, you might actually have some issues getting Windows 11 to run because despite all of their security technology, Intel Macs don't have TPM 2.0 support. But the good news is, is that you can work around this if you really wanted to, and you should be able to use Windows 10 without any issues. Before you do anything else, ensure that macOS is up to date and that secure boot on your Mac is turned on and set to full security. Then download Windows from the Microsoft site, make sure to save it as an ISO instead of creating installation media like you do on a regular PC. Afterwards, go to Applications, then Utilities, then open up Boot Camp Assistant. It'll ask you to select the ISO file you just downloaded, though keep in mind that on some older Macs, you might need to have the ISO file on a USB flash drive, whereas newer Macs can just use the ISO file directly from the internal drive. Select the size you want for your new Windows partition, making sure you have enough free space to do so first, then click Install and you'll eventually get to that familiar Windows setup menu after your Mac reboots. Finish setting up Windows as you normally would, then follow the prompts to install the Windows version of Boot Camp to allow you to better manage your now dual OS setup. You're basically done at this point. To switch between Mac OS and Windows, just hold down the Option key after pressing Power, and you'll get a menu asking which OS you want to boot into. Simple, right? But what if you have a newfangled Apple Silicon Mac? We'll tell you how to install Windows on one of those right after we thank Jackery for sponsoring today's video. Their Solar Generator 1000 Pro is their fastest solar and wall recharging generator yet, boasting three times faster charging than the normal SG-1000. It consists of a Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro portable power station and 80 watt solar panels. Plug it into the wall and get a full charge in under two hours and deliver up to 100 watts of power thanks to the two 100 watt power delivery ports. Check out the new Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Pro at the link below. Unsurprisingly, the versions of Windows we're all used to today are written for x86-64 processors, not for the ARM-based Apple Silicon, so the bootcamp method won't work with the new Mac. Fortunately, there is a workaround, a piece of software called Parallels Desktop that can virtualize Windows. Although it's not quite as efficient as running Windows natively, the good news is that Parallels was actually developed with Windows in mind, so the performance will be closer to native than you might think and it can run Windows 11 and even support games as long as you keep your expectations in check. Unfortunately, you'll need to cough up some money for it, and you'll need to use the ARM version of Windows, so you still may not be able to run every program you want. But many x64 programs, including those from the Microsoft Store, are automatically emulated in Windows for ARM, and installation is as simple as opening up Parallels and installing the Windows for ARM ISO, though Microsoft will ask you to join the free Windows Insider program in order to download it. Go through the installation wizard, and in a few minutes, you'll have Windows 11 up and running inside your virtual machine. Just do some research to see how well the programs you'll specifically be using actually run on Parallels before you take the plunge of buying an expensive Mac and assuming Windows will run just fine on it. That 14-day return window disappears quick. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out some of our other videos, comment with video suggestions down below, and don't forget to subscribe and follow.